Hello everyone. Today we are talking about this massive soldering iron and why you might want or need one. So this is the product and for many years I've had this problem where if I wanted to solder something that was big and thick and heavy like that, I'm not talking about a printed circuit board. I'm talking about something that's big and heavy and even heavier than this. So the problem is I would whip out the only soldering iron I had and try to heat it up and it would take forever because you know there's just too much too much surface area too much too much heat is lost conducting through the item it goes through here it touches the glass this little tiny thing is designed for printed circuit boards and it's the only thing i had so i bought this beast because the other day i was installing car wires and it was taking me for it took me 20 or 30 minutes to try and solder this and i probably didn't even solder solder it right because it probably was a cold solder. But anyway, I bought this beast for this application, including outdoors. Sometimes you wanna maybe solder some radials to a plate or something, and you just need a big honking beast of a soldering iron. So this thing is kind of ridiculous. It is really big, but that's kind of what I want. I used to have this handgun that was pretty good, but nothing like this. So it, all it has is off one and two. So what we're looking at here is the JY2100. And it, what it's saying is power consumption is 200 watts, 600 degrees Celsius, plus or minus 10, 10%. So we're gonna be at about 600 degrees Celsius, which is plenty good for most of our ham applications. And so you just don't wanna sit there forever with that, that small thing. That's designed for small things. Um, it's kind of dangerous because so much of this is hot it also takes a long time to heat up i would recommend um, letting it sit for five or ten minutes before you pick it up super dangerous to accidentally touch it like that unlike that soldering iron over there where i've actually bumped that before and be like "Ooh, that's warm i'm glad i didn't get burned this thing is very dangerous so i bought some rosin paste flux and i had some flux here kind of testing it out so let's test it out and see what it's like so i was doing some car uh radial installations and i came across this heavy wire 